Hi guys, welcome to Shop RJ Pisani and happy holidays and happy new year to people out there who follow me on this YouTube channel. Uh, if you are new to this channel, my name is Rich Pisani. I go by the eBay user ID um, shop dash RJ Pisani dash or dash great dash deals. I'm sorry about all the dashes folks, but um, you know, one day I will change the name, but right now it's going to stay that way. And for those who are familiar with me, uh, who do follow me on a regular basis with uh, this YouTube channel, I do sneak peek videos, demo videos, and intro videos, and I also do the reseller news on occasion. I should be doing it more frequently, but I don't get a chance to do it because I'm always tied up sourcing and doing other stuff to bring you, my potential buyers, uh, new items, hopefully items that will be, you know, that will uh, be to your liking. Uh, I can't say for sure, but I hope that you do like the uh, items that you buy from me. And for my repeat customers who do follow me uh, and do buy from me, uh, I hope you like the uh, service I provide for you. Uh, if you do, please leave a feedback for me so others could see what you uh, think of my service. Uh, I hope it's always going to be stellar and good. And any feedbacks that are left by you guys, uh, I really would appreciate it. Anyway, getting forward, um, I'm going to bump out of here. And I'm going to show you some of the items I have uh, that will be going up on eBay today. Hopefully, I don't see why not. It's uh, 12 noon, as you can hear the uh, big bang clock back there going there. Uh, it's uh, 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time over here in New York. And I just want to uh, share the new items I picked up. And uh, I also want to explain to you in my photos, you will notice that there are quite a few photos. Uh, I do that. I shoot. I shoot the photos with the uh, the items with the flash on, flash off. And for those who are wondering as to why I do that, it's because sometimes when you shoot with the flash on, <clears throat> it can uh, mask certain problems. Uh, well, image. You know, it could distort the images, uh, making something that may have flaws in it, scratches or whatever. It may you know white it out or whatever. And uh, that's why I like to shoot them both ways. In some cases, the flash does enhance the photo so it kind of works both ways you know the flash can be good for certain things and then it can be bad for certain things but uh, there's nothing like shooting uh, photos in a natural light and that's what I try to do but if you want to shoot about the photos I'm going to show you now they have been shot with the flash on and the flash off and that's to show you it's uh, true integrity you know the whole you can see the picture uh, as natural with the natural lighting so without further ado uh, I'm going to get started and after I do this here folks I'm going to run to my display area. I'm going to talk a little about it and uh, just give you a little insight on the items. Uh, you can see a video about it. These are going to be still shots what you're seeing, but the video is nice because video, um, you know, there's nothing like seeing anything, you know, seeing things in motion. Like that old saying goes, every picture tells a thousand words. And uh, I believe that with video, it tells ten times more than that. There's nothing like seeing an actual live video of the particular item that uh, you may uh purchase so let's get started I'm gonna bump out of here and I'm going to click on the uh, first photo is going to be the frosted flakes plate here you see a frosted flakes plate here it's a vintage one uh, well at least they say vintage <laughs> uh, I don't really know they could put that on there but um, it's it's not you know 20 years old uh, I think this is the one here you can see it I think it says oh, you can't really show it close up let's see if I have a close-up these are shot with the flash off folks yeah, now this is anything from my understand to my understanding with vintage is 20 years or older and uh, this year um, it, you know it, it's it's getting there but not not quite uh, that's what we got going on the plate is matte finished okay let me go let me go back over again sorry folks that's the other one I'm showing you this here is a matte finish so if you get it what you see here it is worn but if you are a collector of the frosted flakes uh, Kellogg's frosted flakes plates uh, you might be interested in one. Now, I was looking on eBay to see if they had other people selling these type of plates. At least this one in particular with Tony the Tiger on it, I haven't seen them on it. So, uh, I'm not saying this is a rare one, that I'm the only one that has it. I'm sure there's the ones that have 10 times better condition. Apparently, this must have been used. <laughs> you could see uh, this is probably where all the fork marks were. The person was cleaning it probably with a, some kind of a sponge or whatever. I don't know if they used harsh chemicals on it, but you could see it does have wear on it but if you are a collector uh, you might be interested in this one so we're gonna move right along and again I was telling you with the vintage it says vintage catalog uh, Kellogg's there I should say okay and we got that going on now I go over here again 
Uh, this here is a little, it's a, uh, I believe it's a six inch or five inch, five and a quarter, I think it's a five and a quarter uh, flora, flora, you know, Floridian uh, souvenir plate. It's got embossed, like it's raised uh, items here, as you can see the space shuttle, the little car. These are all, all you know, raised. And I took a picture of it, uh, that's the back of it. It's got its own stand incorporated in it. And the reason why I shot it this way, so you get an idea, you can see the 3D in here, like you can see actual things here. So that's why I shot it that way on that side as well. Again, this was shot with natural lighting um, to show you the true color. Uh, with the flash, I think I got some flash in here. I think that might be with the flash, or this might be still with the natural lighting. Uh, very nice plate. If you haven't been to Florida and you want to have something like this, or let's say you were there and you didn't have time to go pick up a souvenir or whatever, uh, you might be interested in this one here. That's with the flash off. And again, back there. This is with the flash on. It does it brighten it up. It does uh, enhance it a little here. It makes it a little more, you know, gives it more clarity. It, you know, the colors kind of like burst out here. But again, I like the... Um, I like shooting with the flash off at times, but this again, what you can see is with the flash on, and that's with the flash off. So you can see there is a difference with the flash on and off, okay? So just keep that in mind, folks. But this is pretty much how it looks in person, okay? All right, so keep that in mind. Uh, here I also have over here a Magnavox uh, digital FM tuner radio. Uh, this was tested. It works great. It's really nice. I was going to incorporate uh, headphones with it, but I'm going to sell it separately. Uh, my reason for that is because uh, if I add the headphones to it, it's going to bump the price up uh, to this here because I can't sell this thing for like nickels and dimes. So uh, I'm kind of kind of like sell it on its own. If you are interested in the um, the Philips headset, I tested out with this unit. It works really nice. The FM radio works nice on it. I think that's the only band it has. It just says CD and FM on it, so it doesn't have AM on it, which not too many people, young people, listen to uh, AM, at least not to my knowledge anyway. But that's what it looks. This is with the flash on. Um, you can see it does have light scuff marks on here. This is, And this is pre-owned, folks. These, this, the, the items I'm showing you are pre-owned, okay? So keep that in mind. All right. Pretty clean. Okay, it was manufactured in January 2004. That's the serial number there. Okay, um, it doesn't. It takes two AA batteries, which are not included. Uh, my reason for that is because I use the batteries for testing electronic items out. So keep that in mind. That's the side view of it. That's that. There. Front view. No back view actually. There you go. It's the front. Pretty clean, well, from what I see inside and out. Okay, now here's the Philips um, headset. These are nice condition. There's no rips on the vinyl. This is very well padded on here in the top part here. These are telescopic. They do move. You can see one's already down a little here. Uh, these are battery powered. Okay, uh, they now this what they do have scuff marks on them, folks. So look at down here scratches, not scuff marks. These are scratches. Okay, uh, this here actually this cord came with it. It plugs in and out. Okay, I could have taken it off, but I wanted to show you guys that it's not wireless, so that's why I left the wire in. It is not a wireless unit, to the best of my knowledge, uh, looking at it. Um, and that's the back view of it. And uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, that is the other side. The other side's not too badly scratched. It's got little nicks over here, little scratch, scratch marks here. That's, if you notice, that's what a power light is. I, have a, I shot these with the uh, flash on. Here's a close-up with the flash off, I believe. Oh, maybe you can't really use a flash off. You can see the scratches are more here, uh, more enhanced. Okay. That's the other side of it. And this is the SHN9500 noise canceling headphones. Very nice. They tested out, they work pretty good, I have to honestly say. And they go good with that Magnavox. That's the side view of it. You can see it's got the on off switch here. That's the mute switch on that side. That's the inside, just to show you. I took two pictures of it separate on each with each ear paired to show you that the inside is not ripped. Okay, and the cushions, as you can see, the cushions are in good condition. Oh, you'll see it on the next page, uh, next photo. Yeah, here's the next one here. You can see there's no rips. The felt in there is pretty clean. You know, it's no rips in there. Usually these things are kind of worn out and ripped, but this stuff around here is usually freighted. Uh, when I see them like that, I don't even pick them up. I don't care how good they are, what make they are. Because I don't know if, uh, well, I actually, there probably would be buyers out there would buy them regardless, and they put the new pads on them. You probably can get pads for these. I don't know. I never really researched it. Um, they do fold in like that, as you can see, right, side by side kind of thing. 
Uh, again, take notice of the scratch marks, but they do play good. They do play well. Again, that's the inside of it. Okay, you can see over here, this is nice here. Nice and cushiony up there. They are telescopic, they do go down. That's a close up of it. On or switch. This is with the flash on. I'm going to show you with the flash off to show you that this is powered on. This is what I was talking about. Now, you might say, yeah, it looks like it's powered on, but that could be the flash enhancing the uh, little diode in there. So that's why I take a picture with it off. And there you can see it's off. Okay. That The reason why I do that, folks, is to show you guys that the thing does power on. Okay. <laughs> that's why I do it. All right. So and this one here is a, a mountain. What do they call it? Mountain high stands or something like that. I think these are doll stands. Um, you know, I, I, I picked this up. It came actually it was packed in a box I picked up uh, with another unit when I bought it at the thrift store. It was in there. I was going to discard it. And then I looked it up. And uh, these are stands for dolls. And it's only one. It doesn't have any other connections to it. It's just a stand. So keep that in mind. If you need one of these things, I think it's called Mountain Gear or Mountain High. I can't really see it over here. There we go. Oh, no. Uh, Mon Monster. I'm sorry. Mount Monster High. Yeah, Monster High. That's where it is, 2008 Mattel. Okay. I took quite, quite a couple of pictures with the flash on, flash off, because I want to make sure, like, when I put this up on eBay, that I want to get the best picture where you guys can see it. Okay. I don't, I'm not going to put all of these on there. You know, I'm going to pick one. That's the, again, that's the bottom of it there. And it is for a doll stand. For those who know about these, then you'll know. See, this is what I was talking about the flash, folks. Now, I just want to share with you, I am not a professional photographer. Okay. A professional photographer would not have this type of picture here. So that's why uh, you got to shoot it with the flash off. There's a difference. See, this is what I was talking about. The flash on and the flash off. What a difference, right? Okay. Now, on eBay, uh, they have things where you could photo enhance your pictures. I could always make this a little lighter, a little darker, make the contrast, and I could really tweak it where it's going to be good. This is a brand new game, folks. Um, or what is it again? Yeah, it is. Um, I do not buy open games, pre-owned open games, okay? Now, uh, the reason why is I will not buy puzzles, and I don't buy board games. If this was open, I would not buy it. This is sealed. As you can see, it's brand new, okay? That's why I take pictures of the angles to show you that it is sealed. Uh, because, and my reason for it, folks, is because if you're picking it up thinking that, you know, when a person trades it, you know, puts it into a thrift store, all the parts are there, you might have little kids that might take these things out, throw them around, or they might get sucked up in a vacuum cleaner or whatever, and then this piece is missing. And I wouldn't want to sell this to the buyer, and the buyer gets it, and this piece is missing. They're not going to be a happy buyer, and therefore, that can lead to a negative feedback, and we don't want negative feedbacks from the buyer. And my listings, my descriptions, folks, that my buyer is the number one priority for me. If you are not happy, I'm not happy. So always keep that in mind. Here I picked up this here. Uh, it's brand, it's new. Okay, the box is a little, little disheveled here, but it is brand. You can see the unit was never taken out. This item was never taken out of the package, uh, best of my knowledge. They did. They did a real job putting it back, but it's not. Um, it does not have. It says bubble trays included, but look right over here, bubble solution not included. And that's how I'm going to sell it to you guys. So, um, you know, you're going to get it, but you're, you're, you're responsible for getting your own bubbles, <laughs> which is not an expensive thing. Okay. You can probably get it like at a dollar store, whatever they sell them, or like a toy store that sells bubbles. Or you can make your own, probably use dishwasher liquid and do your own thing. Uh, that's pretty bubbly soap. Okay. That's what, now here again, folks, with flesh off. See how the color looks nice? All right, that's the way it looks in a natural. That's with natural lighting, and here it is with the light. The uh, the flash does enhance the picture. It makes it more vibrant. The colors that you could see. Okay, and I took it again with that. All right, we'll keep going here. That's the back of it, um, and that's how they're showing you like the instructions. You would dip the planes, uh, little bubble makers in there, in a, in a bubble solution, and then you would move it, wish it through the air with your hand. Okay, and that's the side profile. See, the box is a little disheveled, but it's okay. It's still new, you know. Most likely, if you're buying it for your kid, son or daughter, whoever, they're going to take this out of the box. Unless you're going to save it, you're going to discard the box anyway. But it is, there's nothing damage done as far as I can see here. Okay, and that's another picture, a uh, photo down to show you that it does have the uh, bubble tray included in there. You can see, it was never played with this thing. Not that I could see of anyway. Okay, and that's what we got. Here I picked up uh, a charger. Uh, this now there's a little story behind with this charge here the reason why I picked this up is when I was in the thrift store I don't bring batteries with me because the reason why I don't bring batteries you know they sometimes these things these items come with batteries in there um, I don't want people to think I don't want the people in the store to think that I'm 
I stole batteries and put it in the uh, machine, you know, to test it out. Uh, I don't know if people do that. I don't do that because I, you know, you know, people can be deceived, you know, what they see, they believe what they see. So if they see me taking batteries out of my pocket, they might think, hey, this guy stole batteries and he's putting it in the, you know, I, I don't, I don't, I just have a funny, you know, I have a funny doubts about that there. So what I did was um, I used this here to test out the CD very brief. I just wanted to power it on to make sure it works and it does work. This uh, is not uh, the, see, this ain't the charger for it but uh, it is a six volt. Uh, it will power it on, but I am not gonna sell it with the unit. This is gonna be sold separately because it's a six volt, and the one I think with the uh, Magnavox, I think is a 4.5, okay? But everything works out. I have batteries in it now. Um, I just used this here to test it out, so uh, keep that in mind. This is gonna be sold separately, you know? All right, so I just gave you a couple shots here, okay? And uh, that's what we got going on. That's the type of tip it is, okay? And we go with the video. Okay. Now, here I picked up some souvenir things. Um, I think people like to collect these things. This is Niagara Falls, Canada. Uh, this is like a bronze color, but it is very worn. It's a souvenir piece, of course, but it's very, you can see it's pitted, worn. Um, you can't, you couldn't even use a cleaner on this because you'll probably take the finish off of it. Uh, I used a light cleanser on it. I didn't want to, you know, take anything off it. I didn't notice any finishing coming off because, like I said, I use a mild cleanser on it just to take any dust off or any little, you know, fingerprints that might be on it. But this is how that looks. Uh, it's roughly about an inch, about an inch and a half, two inches in height. It's small. It's a little cup, very little thing there. Uh, I try to get a close up of it. That's the best I could do with it. Like I said, I'm not a professional photographer. Um, see, it does have wear marks here on it. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's the side profile. But if you're a person that, you know, likes these type of things to add to your collection, uh, you know, it's it's not like an A1, A100%, but if you're a person, that's the bottom. It's like a clear plastic, you know. You can see in there, you can see the light beaming through it. That's what the uh, natural lighting. Of course, this was shot without the um, flash. Then I picked up another one here. Well, I got, I think, a total of four or five of these, I believe. This here is uh, Lou Ray Caverns uh, in Virginia. It's a bell. It's a little, I don't know if it's an actual silver bell, or just a stainless steel bell, or just uh, a chrome plated. I believe, I'm going to say chrome plated, folks, because I'm not going to say silver. This, with, it, this, ain't, this ain't a silver bell. If it is, uh, I'm just going to put it chrome plated. If, if it is actual silver and somebody buys it and they, they end up with a silver plate, you know, a nice silver thing, hey, more power to you. I don't know. I'm putting it down as chrome plated. Um, this is what you got. These, these pictures are shot with the flash off. Okay, this is how it looks in its entirety right now. Side profile. Okay, that's the little bell there. It says USA in there, so I guess it's a made in USA item, which is nice. You know, you don't come across too many uh, USA items. Here's with the flash. The flash does enhance it more. This is what I was talking about. Sometimes the flash can distort a picture, and sometimes it could help a picture. You could see here. This is what it looks like, folks. And I do this here to show you guys that, you know. I'm not trying to cover anything up. That's why I do with the flash on and off, and that's why I explain as to why I do it. I don't want my buyers, but my potential buyers, to, you know, get an item, you know, take a picture of it with natural lighting, and you don't see all of this here. And then when you get it, you're like, oh my gosh, this guy here, he saw me this thing here, and he didn't put it. This will be noted, of course, in the description that there is pitting and there is wear on it. But I want you to see it both ways, folks. You know, that's a close up of it. I mean, this is about the nicest thing as far as that part goes, but. This is with the flash on. You can see the flash right over here is in the background. <laughs> and uh, that's a go with the flash. That's how it looked back there. This is definitely, in my personal opinion, if, if, unless it's unless it's silver that's really best up, I'm going to say chrome plated, folks. Okay? Because I don't know still, I don't think silver really turns this way. I don't know. You know? Here we have a little Myrtle Beach, uh, you know, souvenir, as far as I can see here. We got a little one here. It's wood, made of wood. That's with the flash on, folks, and that's with the flash off. That's how it looks with the uh, natural lighting. Okay, that's the side profile. Back of it's a magnet, of course. That's how it looks that way. I don't know if this bird broke a leg on there. They just had one in there. I don't know. It looks like just one. I didn't didn't look like it had two legs on it. I'm sorry, folks. Um, here's the bottom of it here. Uh, made in Rep uh, Taiwan, Republic of China. Tells you the price. I don't know what I'm going to sell it for. Probably the same thing. Maybe I don't know. I don't know. It's I don't know what the price point's going to be on it. <laughs> Here we have 
Amish country. Uh, this is, I believe this to be pewter. Don't quote me on it. I don't know. It looks like it's a pewter uh, item here, uh, unless it's a cast metal. Could be wrong, but it looks like it's pewter to me. Uh, when I lifted the bottom under it, it said USA. Uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. This is with the natural line close up. It's the side, the back of it. Front, back. And that's the bottom, Made in USA, Joseph, okay? I don't know, folks, if this is pewter. I would take a guess it could be, but I'm not sure. And I don't, I don't know what to put in there. I'm gonna probably put this may be pewter. I am not sure. I'm gonna probably list that in there like that as well. I don't know. That's what it says with the flash on. That's why I said sometimes you gotta use the flash with certain things, because it's a little darkened over here. See, it's a little dark. You can't see, you might, if you, if you, if you like, my vision's not the best vision. And if my vision, you know, you can't see it that good, you don't know. That's why I shot it with the flash. See, here's says Made in USA. Okay. Uh, this is the way it came, folks. I didn't do any of this. <laughs> I guess that's how to keep the pieces on. Here we have a Canadian. Uh, to me, it looks like thimble. Uh, I would I would consider this a thimble. Uh, clean this up. This is pewter because it states it, on the, it states it on the back. I tried to clean it with a light cleaner. I didn't want to damage it anymore. This is a thimble. It's probably within well, probably about an inch and a half, you know. Um, I don't know the whole, I didn't do the circumference of it, but I, you're not going to use this as a thimble, believe me. <laughs> this is a, a piece, like a showcase piece you'll put with your souvenirs. <laughs> That's the side profile of it. That's with the natural lighting. Again, with the natural lighting. Here you can see it says fine pewter. Made in whatever, Canada. And it's got that name, Etane Finn, whatever. <laughs> it's a nice piece. If you're a collector of these type of items, uh, and that's with the flash on, it kind of like enhances it. That's where, that's where you say, when it comes to flash on and flash off, uh, flash can also help it out as opposed to uh, seeing it with it off, you know, and saying without it, you know. So I think you guys, I think you guys get the gist of it. Let me just keep going here. Let's scroll a little past here because I got some more pictures I want to show you guys. But now you got the gist of that there. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so that's a nice little Canadian thimble. Uh, again, with the, uh, here, we have over here, these are ceramic pieces. Now, uh, I looked them over, I picked, again, these are thrift store stuff items I picked up. Uh, there was the deer, I, and I'm, I'm up front and honest, I'm gonna be right up front and honest and tell you guys, because I like to make sure you're getting, you know what you're getting. Uh, there are, <clears throat> I, I, take, I take, I took them all out of the bag, these here first, so I want to inspect them, because you always want to see if they're damaged or broken or anything like that, chip, you know, little cracks on it, whatever. I did notice one of the Santa Clauses the little ball on a head here, it was broken off. It looks like someone must have tried to glue it on. Okay, it's it's glued. I mean, they put it on, I guess they did the best they could. And and there are two reindeers that have the same issue. Uh, it looks like, I, I don't know which one it is, but I'm going to list, I'm going to put that in the description. You can find that out when you go through. There's only five, so you don't have to sit there going, guy's not going to point it out which one it is. I mean, I could probably put little bags in there, like a little marker to say, these were the ones that had the broken antlers on or whatever. There was one of the deers that had two broken antlers that looks like they, they glued it on. And uh, yeah, there was, yeah, there's one deer that had two broken antlers and there's another deer that had one broken antler. And I looked it over the best I could on all of them. And all I came up with as far as broken broken things, but like I said, they, they glued them back on together again. Uh, they did a decent job, I guess, whoever had it. Uh, but that's, that's what I noticed because I want to make sure and I'm glad I checked it because, you know, suppose I didn't check it and, you know, it was broken like that. You know, the, the person who put this up there for thrifting, you know, in the thrift store didn't list, you know, put it up there and didn't tell anybody. And I just took it. So, oh, okay, they look good. I go through it really quick. I only take them out of the package. They look new. It looks good. Next thing you got, you got a deer, two deers with broken handlers of one Santa Claus with a broken puff ball there, you know, the little cotton ball. But, um, no, they're not, they're not saying they're broken, but whoever had it fixed it, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of these Santa Clauses that have this, uh, the little top part was broken off. Uh, that's the way it seems to me. It looks like they, they glued it on. And one of these reindeers, I don't know which one it is. There's one that has two broken antlers and there's one reindeer that has one broken antler. And uh, you know, they must have glued it together. When you take off the bottom part, this little thing here comes out, this little platform, it's ceramic too. Uh, I believe that's where you place the items, you know, these here. Now, I don't know what you do with them. <laughs> I took a picture of it. Uh, this is how it looks, folks, okay? This is how it looks. And I guess you would put them symmetrically around here. I don't know. I really don't know what you do with this thing, folks. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it's for kids to play. Of course, uh, you know, again, this is with the flash off. 
and again that's with the flash on that's what it looks like okay so I think I have a couple pictures where I set it up here here it is now normally I don't think you're gonna put all these Santa Claus and all these reindeers on this little platform thing I don't know what it's about folks I don't know I don't know what you do with it you know <laughs> it looks like a little checker a checkerboard thing here you know uh, maybe that's what it is. It's uh, Santa check is not. I don't know. I'm only joking. I don't know. Okay, but that's what it looks like with the flash, and that's with the flash on. That's with the flash off. Okay, uh, that's what we got going with that. And again, I don't know which deer it is that has the broken antlers. Um, you know, I could probably put like a little paper in there, say this is the one that was uh, broken in there, but it'll it'll be listed in there. You know. Okay, and that's a little close up of them. They're cute little. It's a cute little thing. I, I again, I don't know why you have five and five. Uh, you would think if you know if you're gonna put them on this thing here, you would have like maybe four and four, but that's how they have it. Okay, that's how it looks. Okay, that's with the flash off. That's a close up of each one. No, not each one, but that's how they look, you know. And that's with the flash on. Just to give you an idea, guys. So looks with the flash on again flash off and that's the box that comes like that that's how it'll come to you I put the cardboard on here the uh, foam part is off so I put this foam part this is how it'll be sent to you so the little items don't come out uh, folks on any of these items like you know that are Christmas related if you want these items please please make your purchase I know you're gonna do your shopping around I know you're gonna probably go out you know you're gonna do your you know your what you're gonna check you probably put me on your watch list for this maybe maybe not but if you are going to um, get anything, we'll get back to this in a second. If you are going to buy anything that is Christmas related from me, please try to do it with this week coming up. Today is, uh, like I said again, today is December 10th, 2017. This is Sunday. These items will be listed up. If you do like any of these items, please, please place your order as soon as possible so I can get it to you as soon as possible. I don't know if you want these for you know your Christmas decorations I don't know if you're gonna buy them for next year if you are gonna buy them for next year that's all fine and well then you don't have to worry about rushing but if you're going to buy them with the intentions of putting them up for display or whatever it may be uh, I have I think other Christmas related items on uh, on eBay um, if you'd like any of those things I'm offering a lot of things with best offers so please don't hesitate to make a best offer please don't okay all right now, I think we're coming to a wrap up here all right, with these here, it's the last show. I just want to, you know, talk to you about the Christmas related stuff and show you at the same time. We'll just give you a heads up. Okay, here we have <clears throat> uh, a Christmas uh, Holly Davidson motorcycle repair shop. Now, let me tell you a little about this. Now, this here does light up. It is well, it's with one bulb. There are there are two issues with it that I could sort of talk about. First off, uh, the handlebars on the motorcycle are broken. Okay, that's number one. Number two. Uh, but but there are there's one Christmas bulb missing here, and on the other side there's one missing. You can't see it, but you can see, well here you can see it on this one here. There's one missing here. It's a shame, folks, because I buy these pre-owned, and you know you think people would take care of it, and there's one missing here. It will be noted in the system, uh, on the description, that it is you know uh, missing that there in the handlebars. Everything else is intact from what I could see here. Looking at there's no chips, scratches. You know or, or anything that's that's bad that would uh you know defray you from wanting to buy it up <laughs> see there we go sorry folks about that uh but anyway um and here we have this motorcycle here like i said here's the side profile of it here okay again you can see the motorcycle handles are are missing on it but it is a nice piece it's a genuine it's officially licensed harley davidson piece here right here okay officially licensed product uh, over here it's the original snow village Holly Davidson motorcycle shop uh, I guess this came out in 1996 and then it tells you Holly Davidson motor company all right so that's what we got going with that and that's another close-up of the official licensed product and that's uh, more information on there a little close-up and again another shot with it <laughs> all right here is, uh, this is, this photo, I believe, folks, is shot with natural lighting. This is what it looks like if you were to get it in person, I believe. But I also shot with the fault with the flash on. There you go. What a difference, right? One enhances and one shows you that. You know, it is sometimes the contrast with the brightness, it kind of like takes away from it. But this is nice with the flash off. But you be the judge of that for yourself, folks. 
okay it does it does look nice with the flash on as well okay it's more vibrant as I always say the colors pop at you you know okay that's how it looks on the side all right I, I you know I took a lot of pictures this year with the with the light with, and, uh, with low lighting to show you that it lights up and looks nice I don't know how it's gonna work on there uh, this is again shot with the flash off I believe yeah that's the natural lighting and there's the one I was saying with the bulb was missing right here. It's a shame. I wish they had it. Uh, these bulbs, by the way, as far as I know, they don't light up. No, I think they're just for show. Uh, this came like this with the chain. I don't know what that's all about. But that's how it was there. That's how, how it came with that. That's where the bulb goes in. That's the back of it. Pretty nice. Really nothing damaged on it from what I could see. Usually these things are chipped, broken, you know, I mean, really bad shape. This one looks pretty good, though. I mean, outside, outside of the uh motorcycle handlebars missing you know broken off whatever this is a nice little piece you know if you're if you're uh handy like a like a person that does like to do craft work you could probably make your own little handlebars out of plastic or something like that you know you could probably do it yourself and just glue it on it's all it needs if you're very creative you could do it i know if i was going to keep this thing i could i would try to create my own make my own thing you know i mean you get like two plastic pieces and glue them on here and you can have your own it, it's not like a difficult thing to fix the bowl however uh, that could be a problem. I don't know where you would get these little bulbs from there unless you go shopping around if you want to, you know, uh, you know, revamp this thing here, try to restore it, you know. Maybe you can get like parts like this. I mean, you can get little bulbs like this, you know. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It's a nice piece, but that's the top view of it with the flash off. That's with the lights on. Looks really nice though, right? It looks really nice, really cozy. Uh, I had to shut the light off. I think I had this one with, I think I dimmed it down a little better, or maybe not. This might be as dark as I had it. I had to close the blinds and uh, close the curtains to try to get as dark in the room as possible. You know, I didn't want to get too dark, then you wouldn't see anything. But uh, it looks really nice, though. You can see here; see, it looks pretty nice. That's the straight, straight-on view. Is that nice? It is a nice piece, though. It really is. I mean, if you're into motorcycles, it's nice. I wish, I wish there were things weren't missing. I wish these bows weren't missing. It really, kind of like takes away. You know, there is a way to uh, probably correct that problem if you want to, like, mask it up. Take this bulb off over here, put it over here, and just tie the string up. Make this go along here. That's another way of masking it. But I am not going to do that to make a sale, folks. I'm just giving you guys a little heads up and idea how to do it. The handlebars, you could probably, like I said, craft your own out of plastic. Or if you have one of those uh, 3D robotic, um, those 3D printers, you could probably craft your own if you're a person who has them. Let's say go out and buy a... A three four hundred dollar you know a 3d printer to make handlebars but you could probably do something like that not the bulbs i don't think the bulbs but you could probably get a piece of plastic or something like that and try to you know sculpt it yourself use a heat gun get a piece of plastic and heat it into shape like like if, if there was like a piece of plastic like this around you could cut it off from here to here get a heat gun and mold it you know, like and shape it into a handlebar and just like put like little scribes in here like for handle grips and just paint them black there's there were there are ways to restore this thing if you wanted to or I just leave it the way it is, you know. But um, I think you'd probably want the handlebars. But that's that side view it looks. And again, that's the top view. Okay. And basically, folks, that's it. I'm going to bump out of this here. And uh, let me go back over here now if I can see where I am. I'm sorry, guys. Here we go right here. Um, that's what we got going on with that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go really quick. I'm just going to recap what I have. I'm going to show you in a video. I know you're probably saying how much stuff you're going to talk about. Yeah, just just to see it in the video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, like I said, I, I, I do love doing videos. Um, this is my hobby, and uh, I also, like I said, I'm doing this full time. So I do like to share uh, these things with you guys. Um, I like videos. I think videos tell a lot, and you can see a lot with it, you know. But um, I'm going to bump out of this really quick, and I'm going to go to the display area, and I'm just going to go, I'm going to recap really quick, uh, hopefully really quick. <laughs> And uh, that's it. And then we're going to call it a call. We're going to conclude the uh, video. And then you guys just saw what you want. Uh, hopefully this stuff will be up. I don't see why not. It's early enough to do it. I'll uh, have this stuff up on eBay. Uh, so you guys will be all set to go. Um, you know, if you're interested in purchasing any of these items. But let's go. Let me go take it from here. Let me go bump out. And um, I will take it from there. Okay. So let me just go over here and stop this here. And I'll see you over there at the display area. Thanks. I just want to say, guys, in closing this video, I just want to wish you all the best, a happy holiday, a Merry Christmas, and a Happy New Year. And I wish all the best, you know, uh, for all of us, that we have a nice, happy, healthy season. And I just want to also tell you, thank you very much for sharing this. Um, 
I guess this will probably be one of the last videos before I do another. I don't know if I'm going to be having another, any more sneak peek videos, whatever, uh, prior to Christmas. But for us, most likely, this will probably be the last one as far as for the Christmas stuff. So I just want to say thank you all for uh, stopping by and checking it out. I know sometimes my videos go long. I, I, I apologize about that. But I do want to, you know, ensure you guys as a potential buyers that, uh, you know, this is what you're going to get. You know, the items you're getting. I am an honest seller. I, I like to try to make sure that, you know, I talk about things and being very descriptive as possible. And, uh, you know, I, I just would like to share this stuff with you. Uh, it makes me feel good too, knowing that, you know, I did my best to ensure that you guys uh, know what you're getting ahead of time. Again, uh, if you like what I do with these videos, if you would like to subscribe, so I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Uh, I, you know, if you like, if you get anything out of them, you think it helps in any way, you want to give them a thumbs up, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine too. I appreciate you just taking the time to check out the video. Um, but thanks again. Uh, also, be on, you know, be on the watch too uh, when I do the reseller news too. If you guys want to be updated on certain things with the reseller news, I basically cover topics that I feel of interest to, you know, that I think that I find interest and it may be of interest to you uh, dealing with the e-commerce business and the reselling, you know, for the resellers as well. And uh, I would like to share that information as well. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you, you might get some good pointers from it too. Uh, I don't, when I do the reseller news, I don't go over the whole uh, pages by page. I don't read them verbatim. I'll go over like I try to make it cryptic and make it, you know, short and sweet as possible. Again, this video here is going to be taking probably a lot longer uh, because of the uh, ending intro here. So um, I just wanted to say thanks again. You guys have a great day. And if I don't talk to you soon in the next video, and it is after the holidays, I just want to wish you all the best. Thanks again for stopping by and have a great time. Have a great day. And I hope you have a, you know, a wonderful season. Thanks.